good, y'all? Welcome back to another rebuild episode, man. Coach Smooth is on deck, ready to go, man. And after a very lackluster week one, we look to try to right the ship, man. We got the Tennessee Titans here in week two, trying to get through a little bit more of this early season, see if we can turn it around because the offense was terrible. But before we even get into that, man, we see we have three people coming back from injuries. We will have AK back, which will be a big boost in the run game. Getting Peyton Turner back, as well as Devin Waters, two backup guys that will kind of help with depth, which I don't think was really the problem in our loss, but it is what it is. How you guys doing? Make sure you guys subscribe, like, and comment. Uh, watch all the way to the end for your boy, and catch back up on the series if this is your first episode in the series. Gaming channel is coming soon, very soon, and all of this will probably be moved over there. So that way y'all got a central hub of just watching games straight up, or you can let me know down below if you'd rather stay on the main channel. Let me know. Also, Let's Play is coming soon. This will be the first one, my baby, my favorite game of all time. This will be the first one that drops over there on that channel to go along with this man series going up. So let me know if you're excited for that. Send it to people that like Let's Plays. We're going to get that channel popping. I'll leave it as a pinned comment on here when that channel is up. So keep coming back and checking or check the future episodes so you can know when it's up. Now, regional focus scouting. All right, so here's kind of how the breakdown will go. I'm going to switch them around here in a second, but Jerome Strange is going to focus on right tackles. I'm going to move him to the southeast. I got uh, Rondé Barber going to focus on corners. We're going to make him national. We got Ralph Scott on halfbacks. He'll stay in the northeast. And we got Salvador Ortega going for right outside linebackers. He's going to the central division. Oh, not division, but central region. And then our national scout, Calvin Heath, he's going to focus on right guards when he gets the chance. And we'll move him over to the west as well. So that's kind of how the breakdown is. I just need to switch them around the regions. Do that quick. Uh, Rebecca is at the screen because I I forgot, bro. I'm still doing this stuff, so I was supposed to change it earlier. So now they're kind of stuck in their regions, at least. But we're just going to have them, you know, scout out of position. We just want the deficiency boost, which kind of sucks. But at least we'll still get the strengths of that, you know, scouted and not waste time with those. Uh, as you can see there, there's the top 10 prospect list. We'll get more into that a little bit later. But you see two receivers up top. I see an offensive lineman. I see three quarterbacks in the top 10. So not as quarterback heavy as last year, but still some quarterback options available. All right, here we are up in the booth, man. And this one we wanted to kind of get through a little bit quickly, take it to the fourth quarter if it's interesting, but kind of wanted to get into a different game later in the season. Just want to see if we can bounce back on offense. You know, last game was terrible. We scored three points, didn't even get a touchdown in. And so far today, we've already scored more than we did last game. Oh my gosh, 21 to three? Goodness gracious, all the offense is just coming through. Let's go through this third quarter. Go ahead and jump to the end of this, see if the fourth quarter is any kind of interesting, or are we just going to hold them like we got held. 21 to 3, down the field again, just another field goal. Looks like we came to play today, baby. I like it. 24 to 3, not much going here for uh, Tennessee at all. You know, they get a deep pass play there. Uh, not the way they actually keep the drive extended. We're still up, what, 21 now? Fourth and 5, they get the first down to Julio. Looks like this team is kind of struggling now. You know, it's not the big success that we used to at KJ right with the huge 43-yard pick. Ooh, I like that. A little bit of Crawlers, a little bit of Alba Kamara. I'm seeing a little too much Crawlers, though. I hope AK didn't get hurt on these runs. Rushing forward to get the first down. Aggressive smooth out there. We're just driving and eating up clock. Everybody rushing the ball. Josh Garland in there. All right, yeah, that's a little concerning. Did, uh, did Alvin Kamara get hurt or something? Fourth and 12, field goal is good. So it looks like nothing much really to see from this game. It looks like we went ahead and held it down. Let's, let's go and watch a little bit of defense, though. I thought we would have to watch some of this game. Dang, we dominated. How you doing? I'm finally getting onto the screen, man. But I didn't expect domination here. We literally just got handled 24-3 by Carolina. So, ooh, KJ Wright almost with yet another interception off Ryan Tannehill. Maybe the Panthers are just like that this year. And we're just like an okay team that can beat bad teams. And Tennessee's a bad team. That's, I'm fine with that. You know, we'll probably still make the playoffs on that. But we'll need to turn it around at the later part of the season. Two by two look here. What you got dialed up for me, Tannehill? Drop back. Anybody open? Throwing out. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's a pick. Demario Davis. Yes, sir. That's another interception. He's staying on his feet. Moving. At, oh, I, I didn't even know what's going on. Diagonal running and all that stuff. But we got the ball back. Beastly a piece of game, 24 to 3. 
very quiet first quarter, then an explosion out of nowhere through the second, man. I gotta go see the, uh, the scoring summary on it. Uh, it's not gonna take me. I was hitting R1 L1. I wanted to go see the scoring summary, but all right, we'll just hop over here and look at it. Uh, looks like a six yard pass from Deontay Harris. Crawl is rushed in from one, and then a nine yard pass from Steele, all within a matter of three minutes of each other, bro. That must have been like crazy turnover after turnover. Then a couple field goals to getting things out. Let's go look at this box score since it's not letting me. Oh my L1, R1 button broke or something. Josh Garland, 26 for 34, 325, two touchdowns, two picks. Tannehill had a pretty quiet day with three two interceptions as well. AK over 100 yards rushing. Crawler's 3.2 a carry with the touchdown. I'm not mad at it. And then Cole, the other rookie, Cole Stewart, eight for 110, no drops. And then finally see MT get some work in, seven for 88. Uh, obviously gave it 104 there to Brown, but not too big of a deal. You saw Harrison Steele got their touchdowns. Nothing much on the ground. Let's see, defensively. Who got them picks from the two oh, I saw that two set. Marcus Davenport getting two sacks in the game. Interceptions. Oh, okay, I flipped it. Demario Davis and KJ Wright. So not our DBs, even though we got that plus five man coverage for the beginning of the season, uh, little challenge or whatever. All my DBs got plus five man. Uh, still not seeing it work though. All my linebackers are the ones getting the interceptions, which I'm thankful for. We're one on one. Here we are, man. We're first mock draft one. It looks like they got us being a top three pick. I mean, we just beat Tennessee, so I don't know how we're part of that. But I mean, I'll take it. I mean, if they want to give it to us, I'll take it. Get us some better talent. I'm fine with that. It looks like Anton Wright is going number one. I don't know where that other receiver went. There he is. Dave Street guy going number six. They got me taking Josh Martinez, though, quarterback out of Michigan State. Do we need a quarterback? Maybe. I don't know. It depends on what Josh Garland does. I mean, if he keeps developing nice, maybe I won't even think about it. Saw the good throw power, though. Not too exciting. See throwing the run. So, I mean, I don't got obviously much for him, but things like marginal decent speed, the things that I do got for him, not too excited about at all. That's what I'm talking about. Big statement win here, 24 to 14 against Chicago, scoring 17 and answering that fourth quarter to come back and get the victory. Gave up a lot on offense in terms of the rushing yards and over 100 yards. We don't really like to do that, but it looks like we got had a good day passing 365. Three turnovers today. Ooh, we converted six third downs. I love it. I love it. Time of possession about even. So, you know, it's not like we were taking the ball away, controlling the ball off. It's like we were last game. But 363, two touchdowns, three picks. Those had to be early picks then. I don't know how he's doing the game with three picks. He must have turned it around in that second half. Obviously, the score showed that. But Justin Fields, 193. We were intercepted him twice. Uh, AK, 88 yards and a touchdown. This time, nothing much from Crawford. Actually, Rookie counterpart Cole Stewart rushed for more yards than him, so didn't really mix in a good backfield that time. And yo, this man Cole Stewart is an animal. We gotta get, we definitely watching this next game. This is two straight games where he's led us in receiving 10 for 120 and a touchdown. We got Deontay Harris getting 100 yards this time as well. MT got a touchdown himself. We gave it one to Commit and Allen Robinson Jr. on defense. Who was getting them interceptions again, bro? Because there's a lot of them. Ryan Poole, Roquan Smith, but for us, Malcolm Jenkins, Marshawn Lattimore, and uh, Kendall Vildor for them. We only got two. At least it was our DBs this time. One for each. I'll take that. And then the sacks, Cameron Jordan. I thought we had two each. How is it just one? Coach, we appreciate. We're approaching the end of the first quarter of the season. What do we need out of Josh Garland? Uh, just keep building chemistry. I don't need him to carry the team. He's been doing great as is. Getting it to the ball to our playmakers. We've got Alvin Kamara back, which I think is we saw, I think that might have been the reason we lost so bad week one as opposed to you know, dominating like we did week two. And then the bounce back in week three was the fact that four, four offensive touchdowns was the fact that Alvin Kamara was hurt, you know, a big part of our offense. At least allows people to you know, come up and watch him, get the receivers more open. And we've seen Cole Stewart, MT first, and then Trey Quan Smith have big games when they have to come up and respect the run. So I think that's all a credit to what uh, Alvin Kamara is to this offense. And how we run things over here. Ooh, I see a lot of upgrade. Ooh, Cole Stewart got one too. That's what I like to see about Tommy gets upgraded. He's a slot receiver for right now. Uh, 5'10, 188 out of uh, Georgia, Texas Tech. As for the season, like I said, he's had big ends. When Alvin Kamara came back, it was one for 18 in that loss. Came back eight for 10, 10 for 120 and a touchdown. So big plays are happening down the field, coming out of him from coming in that slot role. A lot of big things happen when you got that running back in the backfield that can go ahead and take eyes off 
the talented. Look at this. Three receivers already getting upgraded. Three of them in green and one in yellow. But you know, we gonna, we gonna get that up. Now all the upgrades out of the way, man. You see, we got players ready to go. Shit, we will take care of that in the buy. But it's time to head home to the Superdome and see if we can bounce back, or not bounce back, but continue our three-game win streak. Last game we watched, though. Well, bounce back season. Let's get right. <laughs> in the beautiful city of New Orleans. Who that nation stand up? And let's go ahead and try to get this dub, man. We got Deshaun Watson, Philip Lindsay, and company coming through trying to wreck our two-game win streak. Now, they're 2-1-2, two two, so ain't no slouches. I wonder how much of that running game we're going to lean on. Obviously, we don't see this in real life. Deshaun Watson isn't the quarterback, so it's going to be completely different from what you would expect there. And uh, uh, once again, Philip Lindsay, and he's playing like a boss today. Oh, get out. Get out. There you go. Come on. Get to that sack. Ah, y'all let Phil Lindsay get the check down, man. We got to get those sacks when they come in clutch, bro. We're not going to get too many opportunities. Watson is mobile. Very mobile. And with Lindsay leaking out like that, that can be very, very dangerous. If we're not right over the middle to the tight end. Come on, y'all. Tommy Trimble seems to be the tight end out there for them now. Drop back. Quick throw over to the backside. He breaks a Debo's tackle and finally gets taken down. A Debo, you worried me. Drop back. Watson out to the screen, and it gets locked up. He was going nowhere. Demario Davis sniffed it out. That's what, I need to see more plays like that. I'm honestly trying to see where our other linebackers are. Is it in there? I think we're in Nick White's Marshawn. We're in man, simple man coverage, it looked like, and you gave him an easy catch like that. Is that Cooks? Simple man coverage, and you getting toasted that bad by Nick Collins? Ah, oh, yeah, that's on them, though. That's on them. Run it up. Offense. Red zone defense. Ben don't break time. We got Deshaun Watson moving out of the pocket. Nobody's able to get off, and that's almost a pick. There you go, Marshawn. That's what I need to see more of. But I need you to catch it like Trayvon did. You feel me? I need you to catch the rock. Second and 15. Watson back rolling right out into Marcus Davenport, who slowed him down just enough time. He'll get credited with half the sack there because I mean, he did start it. We go drop back, throws out. Come on, don't give up. There we go. I said, don't give up everything now. We hold him. Tommy Trimble with the great catch there, but they will have to settle for three. We'll get the ball back on offense. This is what we came to see. Offense has been shining lately. So let's see and hope that they can keep it up, man. Josh Garland here. Looks like Deontay Harris and MT going to be out on the field. Drop back, throw over the middle. That's Michael Thomas with a great slant. Can't wait to get a capture card. So they're going to keep having it so I can get one. So if you want to donate, let me know. I'll put the links. Right now, Garland dropping back, looking clean pocket. Just throw it away, don't take a sack. I like that. It's IQ. Or pistol, it looks like. Hand off to AK. Finally gonna get busy a little bit. Great blocking from the receivers. They blocked too. We put them on the blocking dummies, bro. We got blocking receivers out here. Looks like we're finally getting to see some rookie Cole Stewart. He is out there two by two set. But never mind, it'll just be a handoff to AK up the middle again. And why not let him shine? Why not let him run the rock? Two for 23. And what do you guys think about this team? Is there any moves that you think I should make? Should Cole Stewart get more PT? Should he be moved as a like as the other outside to where he's not out there with MT a lot more, getting more passes? What do y'all think? Or should I still be Traquan Smith? As we see D'Angelo Steele out there shining. That's an underrated move, low key by me, bro. Putting D'Angelo Steele at that starting spot, letting him get that development. I think he's gonna be a really good beast to tight end. He performs very well, catches the ball really good, was a touchdown man in preseason, and has scored here in the regular season. So only time will tell, like, what's going to happen with him. You see Adam Trotman there getting the catch, though. He not knocked out the offense completely. Shotgun here again. Drop back. Quick throw out to D'Angelo. Still this time to the flat. Working his way forward. Give me about three. Let's see Cole Stewart. Get, there we go. I was just about to say, oh, let's see him get something. What's that, like a 12-yard gain on the slant? That was a really slow ta tackle animation. I know he's hard to get down because we put that boy in the weight room. He might be 72 overall, but his strength is like 95. All right, no, not really. But you know what I mean. He's still out there, though. Let's see a touchdown to him early in the game. Are we going to up oh, motion? Cole Stewart's going to get the direct snap handoff receiver motion and gets himself all the way up to the two-yard line. 
trucking his way forward, stumbling, bumbling, and rumbling. Now we're going to go ahead and let AK finish this thing off, right? It's going to be a simple handoff up the middle. Okay, follow your full back. There you go, truck your way forward. Still a yard short. Mm, MT out there one on one. Corner look like he's got inside leverage. Oh, he backed up. That's an easy slant. That's an easy slant. What happened? This is why I'm always questioning Josh Garland as our starter. I just don't see anything affecting the pass. Like nothing touched him. Wait. Ah. Oh, hit the defensive lineman's head. Well, look, even still. Drop back. Boom. Right. Well, I mean, I guess he threw it as quick as he could, right? MT, MT, were you just slow? Oh, yeah, that's just a slow release. You got to get in now. That's MT fault. I can't even blame him. That's MT. If nothing good happens on the series, just go ahead and skip to the next offense one. More offense focus. Here we go back on defense. Let's keep them where they at, man. Don't let them get all the way down the field this time. Hold up a little bit sooner. Come on, Marshawn. You're playing terrible man coverage today. Deuce is in the air. We got the second quarter on deck. I see we look like we might get a little bit of a linebacker blitz here. Yep, getting right up in that backfield. Ain't nowhere for Philip Lucy to go. You want, you want him to get yards? You better pass it. Let's get in that backfield again. Demario Davis out there lurking. One-on-one -on -one coverage. He was wide open. That's great recovery, recovery there from CJ, bro. He was left wide open. Probably a cover two there. And that's great range of motion. That's why you get them safeties that are good at zone coverage. Tried to go to the boundary. Not even like to the boundary. They're middle of the field. So we locked it all the way up. Watson back, throwing on third down, one on one. You can't do it too many times, bro. He messed up once, he messed up twice. But give Marshawn three times, that's a yeah. Now let's go score something, man. We got gifted something beautifully by our defense. There you go, read option. Josh Garland go up the. Ooh, you just got right in reach of his arms, but still trucked your way forward for positive yards. On our side of the field. You felt them only four yards rushing. Like I told you, our defense is playing phenomenally. As long as the rush defense is there, we're going to be straight. There goes AK showing that strength again. Back to this full house pistol look. Hand off of the middle. There you go. Muscle. Ah. Ah. He tried to muscle his way forward. And if D'Angelo still hadn't been standing in the way, that might have been a first down. Oh, we're going to challenge him. Aggressive coach move has spoken. Challenge the play. Let's see, did he, I mean, we ain't going to get a good angle from over here. We just going to look. It, yes, it got overturned. It was a first down. He was able to stretch and reach for it just barely. So I love that. I like it if they brought back the chain game, you know, from old man. There you go, Cole Stewart. Reach for it for the first. But I'd love if they brought back the chain game. Like, I feel like that element is just a little bit missing, bro. Like, bring out the chains. Let me see with my own eyes. Don't just take it to the booth and let me see that. that you could at least put the yellow line so I knew what the first down marker was. I couldn't even tell it was a first. Great there, play by, there by AK. Again, it's about three yards off the flat route. We'll see second and seven at our own 29. Handoff again, Alvin Kamara. This is why I'm glad he's back off injury. Draw back, throw out quick. D'Angelo Steele getting the short, short catch into the red zone area. Let's go get a touchdown. Okay, finally under center. Uh-oh, this is a receiver run again. Handoff, Cole Stewart. Not much room to go. They was able to read it that time. You can't run that play twice in the game. It's not going to work two times in one game. You Maybe they ran the fake there and gave it to AK. That probably would have worked a little bit better. Or the play action off of it. MT, sideline catch. Feet down. Move forward. Go, Cole Stewart. Go, Cole Stewart. I know he open. He's somewhere. Oh, screen pass out. We got three offensive linemen blocking beautifully. Great broken tackle. Just better recovery. He's one yard out. Ooh, I like it, though. Shotgun. Even if it's a run, give yourself some room to see an open hole. Yep, it will be a handoff to Alvin Kamara. What I tell you, he's in there. He crossed the... His whole upper body was across the plane. No. Ah. All right, second and goal. We're going to go pistol. Try another run. No question about that one. Give me my touchdown. So far, I really love what I'm seeing out of both offense and defense here. Oh, my gosh. Big pass play there. They're on their side of the field. Two minutes left. We got Ben don't break uh, energy in us today. If we're going to let them score, at least let it be a field goal and give us enough time to you know answer back. Drop back. It'll be a draw play of Philip Lindsay. And that is 
going nowhere. Uh, back can they get the first? Oh, screen set. No, he was there in place and just over pursued it a little bit too much. I can't really tell you what that one was, but Phil Lindsay gets the screen, gets enough for the first. Clock is dripping though, so let's see how long it is till they use their first timeout. Looks like they might have went, you know, huddle here. Another screen pat. They better be careful. Those are almost yicks. And that could go to the crib. You get an interception on the screen. Empty here, so I'm sure it's no screen. Rolling out of the pocket. He's got a receiver wide open. Thankfully, we're able to bring him down. I can't really tell who that is, though. Coming out of the first timeout. Watson back rolling. Finding back corner of the end zone just out of bounds. A booth reveal coming, but I think he definitely like glid over the back of that end zone. I don't think he was in there. Let's see what angle they give us though. Oh yeah, that's that is all the way out. That that is all the way out. Like not even he, he jumped out of bounds and caught the ball. Not even close. Ben don't break. Ben don't break. They got five yards to get in the pay dirt, but we got five yards to beat. Great screen pass out again. They're not going nowhere with that. They've tried to screen like that I've seen like five times now. Try another one though. Maybe it'll work this time. I, I got a feeling. I got a feeling. Ooh. No, no, not to the tight end though. Yep, there we go. Lock that up. All right, I guess some glitch happened where we just kind of stayed on the drive and didn't go into halftime. So. We ended up three and outing there, getting the ball back to Houston. Uh, 26 yard pass there for Tommy Trimble. I hate when that, that glitch happens. Like, we didn't even get no halftime. My player is probably tired. And here come the big plays. Big plays after big plays. There we go. Good sack there from Cameron Jordan. It looks like we did, were able to stall them out for just another field goal. Come on, offense. Let's get back to working. <music> Working our way up. Incomplete pass. 39 yard touchdown to Cole Stewart. Oh, I wish I had been able to see that, bro, in his own video. I wanted to see him have a big day today. And he he's been doing what he needed to, but that 39 yard touchdown just like submits how great of a season that he's, or at least early season that he's had, first quarter season that he's had. It has been amazing when Alvin Kamara has been in the lineup because you know he distracts so many people and just makes it so easy for our offense. We'll get the ball back here after a three and out by that. Well, not three and out, but a long three and out by them. 85 yards to Cole Stewart. Are you kidding me? Yo, what is this? 85? That boy is a beast, bro. That, that dude is a beast. We're up 24 to 9 just like that. And I don't even know if there's anything they can do here on this one. I'm seeing big plays, but it's too little, too late. Cole Stewart and took over. He is taking over the game. Second and 15 here, third and five. They'll get a nice run there. Let's see if they can punch it in for their first touchdown of the game. Four yards to Jacoby Myers. And now it is a eight-point game. Oh, I don't know how it's fourth and one. We get one and then don't go for it. But looks like the defense might have to step up here. And yard sack for Cameron Jordan. Can we hold the door here? Third and 13. Fourth and 13, are they going for it? They will just punt the ball back. Let's see if we can go ahead and waste some time and be great. Let's get right. Garland, what you going to do? Throw out. I like it. Quick throw out. I think that's Traquan Smith with the catch. 240 yards, two touchdowns on the day. He's been great. Obviously, we know Cole Stewart has been a huge chunk of that. Over 110 yards, I think. 89, 39. Over 110, just about 120. Throw out. MT with another great catch, breaking his way forward. And we're not even trying to run the ball. You see that? We got the lead, but it's only by eight. We're being aggressive, throwing around. This is what I wanted to see the whole time. We haven't seen Josh Garland get out of the pocket much at all. Not throwing short to the tight end. We're going to wait. You let D'Angelo Steele get open over the top. I like that. No more short stuff either. Throw the ball down the field. I love it. You got here. Okay, read option to the outside. It's wide open. AK going all day to the outside. The defenders took a little too long to realize it was a read option. And AK took advantage, beasted and feasted. I'm surprised he's not close to 100 yards. But Cole Stewart's taking over, so I can't even be mad. Unfortunately, he stepped out of bounds, so the clock stopped. Still got about four and a half to go. Is this another Cole Stewart run? It is. A little toss forward to him, and we'll work on the ball carry vision. He's still working on that. Another big stat to you know, keep in mind, it's his third straight 100-yard receiving game uh, so far this season for Cole Stewart. 
I don't know how many more he's going to have throw out of the back of the end zone. It's like Marquez Callaway was out as a intended target receiver. And we'll at least take a field goal to go up two scores. Need one more stop defense. One more stop. Three minutes left to go. That's almost an interception. Demario Davis wanted it. He wanted to end the game on his own, but be patient, old man. The game still new quick. Ooh, 41 passes, 13 rushing attempts. They really not had a bit enough space to. Well, that's why they keep running screens. Those might as well basically count as they run. That's the only way Phil Lindsay's been able to eat. They got to start going down the field a little bit, though, because they need to score quickly. Otherwise, it's not going to be enough time to even come back, even if they do score. So we're going to start seeing probably some no huddles. Six second run off there. Watson dropping back. Blitz almost got there. And there goes the rookie finally making a tackle. Seven seconds. Well, not rookie, but you know, Sean Dobson, young, young middle linebacker, young great in the making. DeMar Davis out there trying to teach him on the fly. He said, hey, yo, yo, this is no huddle, bro. Just stay on my hip. We got this, bro. Don't go nowhere. Yep, there it is. Wide open over the middle of the field. Once again, getting Collins down, but only a minute left. Under 60 seconds. Still no timeouts used. They're probably trying to save him for the last drive. You know, assuming that they score Phillip Lindsay with the great catch. They're in the red zone. Time is ticking, though. Under 40 seconds. Can they get in the end zone? Defense got to be tired. All this no huddle, no break, no timeout, nothing. And still coming up making great plays. And finally getting to use their first timeout. Time ticking. Throw go out. Wide over the middle. Phillip Lindsey. DeMar Davis getting the tackle. They're going to go no huddle again. Only 16 seconds left. Not much time left to do anything. Throw will go out over the middle. And that'll seal it, baby. Who is that? Is that C.J. Gardner Johnson? Oh, he got, he got out of there. He broke a tackle. He's going. Oh, no. Malcolm Jenkins. No. I saw it. That would have been the greatest pick six of the season. And Malcolm Jenkins. Oh, bro. You owe him like a steak dinner, a new Bentley truck. And you got to give up your wife for that one, bro. You, yeah, you, you didn't screw my man over out of a touchdown, bro. You got to give up your wife. You got to give up the wife and kids, bro. Mm-hmm. You got to get that up. Sorry. Can't do it. You gave up a huge pick six like that, bro. Are you kidding me? Well, that's got to be the end of the game at least to see what it like. What's going on? Uh, here, I'll call a play. Let's see if the game ends. I forgot what I got to do here. Um, I think I do I just dashboard or something. I just like exit out of the game. There we go. Throw. I'm play a lot anyway. Uh, okay. It says end. Ah, great. Now I got that glitch. Uh, hold on while I figure out how to fix this. So we got to come in and look at it kind of this way. Uh, since it, it didn't save, the dashboarding idea was not the move. So next time we'll just try to exit a <laughs> quick game. Uh, we still, obviously y'all saw that we had won. So 35-14 there. Very disappointed. We couldn't keep the stats that we had. But 332, two touchdowns there. 262, two touchdowns and three sacks. Kamara only 60 yards and a touchdown rush for. Garland rushed for one. Crawler's got him one in the redo. Uh, this time, Cole Stewart only two for 83 with a touchdown. It's still pretty high, but I would have liked him to have that huge game that he just had. That probably would have been enough for, like, a, what's it called? Uh, the player scenario to get him to start there. That probably would have been done. It, you know, three straight games at 100 yards. Nine for 102 there for Deontay Harris, though. He got a touchdown. MT for 62 yards. I guess I can't be that mad at it, but it just sucks. Whole new list of stats. At least we got the win. We're three and one right now. And that's probably where we're going to go ahead and, like, end off this video at least we went ahead we ran through three games big winning streak so you know that means we gotta kind of slow the season down so you know next time out uh, we got vikings we got detroit and we got tampa bay tampa bay is two and two probably not trying to see another division game if i were y'all so let's see what detroit is right now do they have a pretty good record has their rebuild been going good oh no 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 there you go one and three so next time out, we'll probably go ahead and watch the Minnesota game. So we can hopefully this one don't mess up. We can actually get a good game in. Go ahead and get through Detroit, Tampa Bay, and go ahead and get to that bye week or have the bye week start next time, depending on how long the episode gets. So I hope you guys did enjoy. It looks like we still do have a breakout player. I'm going to see who that is. Let's check in with the QB real quick. Everything's starting to come together offensively. It's kind of scary to think that we're just getting started and are capable of more. Finally, like, I've been trying to tell you, like, this is a great team. I have really built this thing up. It's just going to depend on, you know, Josh Garland and how well he succeeds and does. And I think he's really come back to the table. When you put a run game behind him, 
that's the type of quarterback he is. He's developing more into a game manager that Ryan Tannehill build kind of, you know, we give him a good running back and he going to do what he needs to do. See who just wanted to say, we appreciate you bought me in the game plan last week. Going out there just running routes and never seen them. Don't tell me he still got it anyway. Oh, Deontay Harris. I guess I'll take it. Not the receiver we're hoping to go ahead and get for the uh, breakout player chance, but nonetheless, it gives us even more reason to go ahead and watch Minnesota. We'll have Deontay Harris with his chance to go ahead and break out. Hopefully he can do it. I mean, he's had great, great um, games in the past. Had a really good last season. Already starting off strong this year. So I'm fine with it. Get more receivers up to, you know, closer to Superstar X Factor and I'm good. That'll be what we do next time. If y'all are excited for it, drop a like on the video, man. Get hyped, get active. Get in them comment sections with your boy. Let me know you're enjoying it. Share it out with friends and family. Let's help this series grow. Get it out on YouTube so we can get some more people on here, man. Y'all gotta like, y'all gotta comment. So that way it gets seen out. Game channel coming soon so we can get a bigger crowd coming in. More uh, tightly niched. Which will be great. New year, new me. Let's rock it out. Hope you guys are down for the ride. I will catch you guys next time. It's me, your boy, Shot to Smooth, aka Black Okage, Black Outside King Leo, aka Coach Smooth, and how the tables have turned. You look kind of dominant this year. I like it. Keep it rolling.